Hello, this is iOS Backup 2020. We are Team R4R from IOA Taesun, Hanoi. We are young, beautiful, and creative. My name is Bao Nhi. My name is Zakia. My name is Halong. My name is Chung Hai. My name is Sally. Welcome to our talk show. I'm your host. Today, the topic is R4R. To be specific, uh, R4R is rules for robots in the future. R4R in other words, rules for robots. We have four experts today. Mr. Chung Hai, Ms. Harlem, Mr. Zakiem, and Ms. Zaling. Uh, Mr. Zakiem, can I ask you some questions? Yes. Uh, what do you think about the topic today? I think currently robots are a new technological invention to help and do things that humans cannot do. However, we need some rules for robots to prevent them from invading the Earth. Thank you. I couldn't agree more with you. Miss Harlem, can you talk more about it? Okay. In my opinion, in an era of automation, recording from the internet, more than 1,000 robots have been produced. Robots have a lot of good and bad function, and humans have been used their ability to do things that are against the law. Just like humans have fingerprints, Robots also need the separate code to verify their identity and avoid tampering. We have written a law in R4R to ensure the safety and solidarity between humans and robots. Now I want to invite Mr. Chung Hai to talk more about ways to prevent robots from controlling humans. If I to prevent robots from controlling humans, we need to have a destroy button system. If not, they might form an army against us. This button can also be used in the case that the robot doesn't comply with the set of rules or in emergency situations. Thank you. Uh, we have talked about ways to prevent robots from controlling people. It is uh, important uh, for us to um, know how to destroy them in a friendly environment way. Uh, Ms. Zaling, can you talk about it? To destroy the old robot, we will have to classify each component used to assemble it, such as iron, copper, and plastic into different types of trust. Then we bring them to the factory. We must not burn in nature because they will pollute the living environment. Thanks, you, Ms. Zaling, for your suggestions. Uh, however, R and R, humans and robots have to live together. Humans must respect robots. It is unacceptable to exploit robots physically, use robots to do illegal activities, or as a tool to take advantage. It is the same to robots. Humans and robots have to live together in peace and help to boost the economy. Thank you, um, audience and experts, for being with us tonight. Uh, I appreciate your time on the show. <laughs> it is the end of our presentation. I hope you will like it. Our future stop now. Vote for us. <laughs>